Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Donna from DW Backyard Garden. This is a quick update on the corns that I've planted next door. And here I've just mounted the corns. Make sure there's no weeds around it. And the corns are in good health. They're growing tall. And if you notice that we've planted some pumpkins along as well. Have a look, pumpkins. But nevertheless, if you see, say hello. Look, hello to all my YouTubers. <laughs> That's my next door neighbor, Esther's brother. Uh, he's making sure that the corns are weeded up and mounted at the, the root. We make sure that the roots are, you know, are, um, it's basically supported. So you know that corns are, it requires a lot of water. You know, I just water the corn. Believe you me, I just water the corn, you know, but it, it's not saturated enough. And it takes, the fact that is, the time is so dry and hot and sunny, it's gonna take a lot of water to make a difference. But it's still, somehow, as long as it gets some moisture, that's good, so. Corns are coming on, can you see? So the back one seems to be the laziest, <laughs> or the ones that are not getting enough sunshine. But yeah, let me come over here so you can see what he's doing. So right, so what, what he's doing is using the, the, the hoe to, yeah. The earth is, a, is very hard, you know, very hard. So we're making sure. And then look at the pumpkin. So the pumpkin is coming on. So what the pumpkin will do, will run and basically go around the corns for support. So anyway, guys, this is just a quick little show you how the corns are getting on. You can see from here, look, and there's my rose bush. There you go. And my cabbages are doing fine. I'll do a video and show you that one another time can you hear the birds chirping it makes a difference isn't it so yeah the corns at the front i think are doing much better than the ones at the back so look look the strength and i think we have like two three or probably four in a in a hole which is and they're planted in a block so corns required to be planted in a block. So when the tassels and when it's um, what you call it, the the blossom starts to pollinate. Cause corns pollinate its own um, when the breeze blow. The breeze blow and pollinate itself. So that's why it needs to be planted in a block, right? So anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. So thank you very much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye for now.